Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, good morning. So uh, this is Dr. Osmaini again and this morning I would like to lecture on chapter number two titling <coughs> Global E-Business and Collaboration. So I hope you are well and healthy and should be able to be easily following my <coughs> lecture based on this uh, uh, YouTube uh, platform uh, from Dr. Rose Sherry. Okay, this uh, chapter 2 material is available in the Edmodo platform. You can download it from there so that you can uh, refer the PowerPoint material. So, let's uh, get it uh, started. In this uh, chapter, uh, I'm supposed to help you to define, or at least uh, make you understand how to define and describe uh, what is uh, business processes. This business process and how does it relate to information system? Okay. Secondly, uh, I have to help you to be able to evaluate uh, what are the role played by the system uh, that serves very level of uh, management uh, in the organization. For example, lower management, middle management, and top management. And what is the relationship between these uh, few levels of management? And I'm supposed to make you and able to explain about how uh, enterprise application, for example, like Oracle, SAP, uh, MRP, how these uh, big and expensive software can help to improve organizational performance on the overall as far as implementing this uh, automation as far as software is concerned in the ERP environment. <clears throat> and uh, I'm uh, supposed to enable you to explain the importance of collaboration in uh, current organization and also teamwork in business and how does IT system support this collaboration and team working uh, in project. And uh, <clears throat> I am uh, sh uh, should be able to help you to assess uh, the role of information system uh, to function uh, as part and process uh, in the business. Okay, remember, <clears throat> uh, this is a point of reflection, you know, the basic definition of MIS that I explained in uh, previous uh, week in chapter 1. The basic uh, target or objective of this course, which is MIS, is to uh, make the uh, management uh, by using information system so that the managers can make uh, effective and efficient decisions uh, based uh, on MIS or assisted by MIS. Be it, uh, it is uh, TPS, uh, DSS, uh, ES, and EIS, or even enterprise system. So that's the core of the objective of this uh, course, which is enabling managers to make efficient and effective decisions by using MIS system. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> what is business process? Okay, what does it mean? Uh, how, how does it function? Okay, uh, in many organizations, for example, like here in the fast food restaurant like uh, KFC or McDonald's, or be it even in airlines or in banking, there are all uh, business, processor, uh, business processes exist to operate the business. Okay, basically business processes uh, is uh, related to flows of material, uh, the information and knowledge in order to run the transaction from sales, from payment, and also from uh, collecting payment and delivery of the product. So it is basically sets of activity and it is based uh, step by step. Okay? Starting from taking order and then uh, preparing the material, get the material into a finished product and after that deliver to customer. So it is a set of activity. <coughs> and these activities may be uh, related to uh, specific functional area, for example, uh, taking order department and uh, production department and then delivery department and then finance and so on. So we would say that businesses uh, are uh, basically consisting collection of business processes. And business processes uh, could be uh, serving as an asset or even negatively it could serve as a liability to uh, the organization or to the company. Okay, let's take a look on the <coughs> example of uh, functional uh, business processes. 
Okay, uh, before I move on to the functional uh, business process, I think I need to re-emphasize on this. Okay, business processes basically involve flows of material, information, and knowledge. Okay, let's take a look on like this uh, KFC uh, fast food restaurant at the counter. So it starts from the information in which the cashier is uh, taking up the order from the customer. Say she wants to order a burger, uh, burger set. So that information is relayed uh, to the cashier and the cashier will key in the information into their uh, IS system and that IS system uh, will be relayed to the kitchen uh, at the back there and the kitchen uh, uh, staff or personnel will know what are the things being ordered and quickly they prepare the uh, food or the menu and after they prepare the menu, they will pass back the uh, completed product or the burger to the cashier. And uh, the cashier will receive the payment from the customer. And the customer will uh, receive the receipt. And soon after that, the cashier will pack the done food and the food will be passed to the customer. So these are basically involving the flow of material, information and set of knowledge known to the business process. So that is what it's all about, business process and information. Okay, as it says that it may be tied to functional areas, which is different, different department within the same working organization. So this relates to the next slide. Okay, <clears throat> the functional business process that tied together, uh, basically involving a few departments, notably uh, in manufacturing department, uh, for example, factory or uh, production-based uh, uh, organization. So they have um, they have predominantly these four department: uh, manufacturing and production department, first one. Uh, secondly, sales and marketing department. Uh, thirdly, uh, finance and accounting department. And normally, lastly, human resource department. So these are functional department that interact each other in order for business to uh, get process. So this uh, is the core, uh, normally uh, major department that exists in many manufacturing company. Okay, I would like to cite uh, based on the manufacturing company to focus on uh, like uh, production or manufacturing because most of you are BPB student. So I'll try to uh, focus my example related to production or manufacturing environment. Okay, so basically this functional business process are turning the input or the raw material uh, into the processes or work in progress, uh, turning the raw material uh, component by component and then assemble it, process involving machine and people and later turn it out to be the uh, finished good or better known as the FG finished good. Okay, <clears throat> how does the order fulfillment process is being executed? Okay, this uh, diagram is uh, actually uh, in your book. So here are the sales department, the accounting department, and the manufacturing and production department, and later delivery. Okay, so now we think that the uh, appropriate example that I can use is uh, basically say uh, Fujitsu. Okay, well, <coughs> Fujitsu is uh, our nearest neighbor here uh, in uh, UTHM. Uh, Parit Raja. So uh, next uh, lot is uh, Fujitsu Manufacturing Facility. So that is Fujitsu Components Malaysia. And its uh, parent is uh, Fujitsu Takamisawa Japan. Okay. And let's, uh, let's uh, uh, explain based on Fujitsu order fulfillment process. Okay. So for example, uh, this is Fujitsu Group. Uh, Fujitsu headquarter like from Takamisawa uh, would like to order components from uh, Fujitsu uh, Batu Pahat. Okay, so Fujitsu Batu Pahat uh, uh, normally makes a few uh, types of components. For example, like this uh, keyboard. Yeah? Uh, this is keyboard. Uh, uh, the uh, the main board uh, that are making up uh, Fujitsu uh, keyboard for their computers or for their notebook and so on. Fujitsu Batu Pahat also are making the relay, uh, like a switching device. Fujitsu Batu Pahat also making like header for uh, thermal header printer for uh, uh, internal component uh, which belonging to a uh, finished good uh, printer, perhaps uh, for Fujitsu or for some other brands. 
Okay, say Fujitsu uh, Japan would like to order this component, which is a keyboard from Fujitsu Batu Pahat. So how how does it skew? How how does it being skewed? Okay, first Fujitsu Takamisawa uh, of Japan will submit an order. So their sales department will generate the uh, the order. Okay, so that order is later uh, sent uh, to the accounting department uh, through an IT system. Uh, accounting uh, department will check the credit, uh, of course, to check the credit status of Fujitsu Japan and also Fujitsu Malaysia, whether the credit uh, uh, outstanding is good uh, or there is a delinquency in payment and so on. So, uh, preferably, the, uh, the credit is positive, which is good, uh, no outstanding debt payment. So, normally, uh, Fuji, uh, Fujitsu Malaysia will approve the uh, credit uh, to take the order from Fujitsu Japan. So after that, uh, Fujitsu Japan will generate an invoice. So stating how many uh, hundred parts of a keyboard they want to order and summing up how uh, much the cost it will uh, uh, sum up. Okay, so when credit is approved, uh, this order will be sent to manufacturing uh, and production to Fujitsu Batu Pahat so that it can be procured in terms of component, or raw material, parts or sub uh, sub parts and so on so and after getting all the raw material and parts it is being assembled after it is being assembled normally it will be uh, QA tested quality assured uh, quality check and then if QA has approved uh, that lot then normally they uh, will uh, send to uh, to logistic or to warehouse for delivery these keyboards uh, perhaps uh, 10,000 keyboards too Fujitsu Japan, so that Fujitsu Japan can assemble into their notebook or into their PC. So these are the whole order fulfillment process. Okay. So <clears throat> those are a typical process for uh, business. And how does it relate to information system? So basically, all this uh, process uh, that is being executed by Fujitsu, it is occurring on the platform of IT like IT uh, network at sales and then uh, information system at accounting process it, it goes to their software for accounting, uh, checking the cost, checking the unit price and later sum up the total cost of the order and later goes to production and manufacturing. It goes to uh, the scheduled job order based on lots uh, to lots production and uh, from that lots of production they will uh, determine how many parts they must have from the warehouse and so on all these are, uh, are executed based on IT system perhaps same system but sometimes different different system but all of them are working together okay so as I said uh, earlier inform uh, IT does uh, improve or support or enhance business processes by increasing efficiency. All right. So, for example, uh, the order that is uh, received by the sales, uh, that uh, same order number can be seen at computer system in production, so that production can trace. So, IT also strengthen business process by enabling entirely a new process. Uh, it can control the flow or change the flow. Uh, and it can eliminate delays in decision making if it is done manually. And uh, uh, definitely, IT is supporting uh, the business model to be made more efficient, faster, shorter lead time, and a more accurate delivery. As I have shown uh, in the video clip uh, earlier, uh, last week in Chapter 1, in which it uh, showcases the Walmart system or retail link how it control thousands and ten thousands of product uh, for Walmart to receive, deliver from the distribution center, uh, goes to the truck, uh, truck or logistic, and then go to Walmart shelf. So this is what it's all about. So IS is definitely the prime mover for many businesses process nowadays. Okay, so nowadays uh, also many product uh, can be produced uh, based on e-platform or electronic platform. So if you want to buy a book nowadays, you can buy a book uh, without uh, buying a physical book. You can buy e-book, right? Uh, in Amazon, they have a system, they call it the uh, Amazon Kindle, in which whoever wants to buy a book or a novel, they just uh, buy this uh, Kindle uh, book reader, 
and the software or the book itself uh, actually can be downloaded and all can be read uh, by using this uh, single uh, ebook reader device uh, without uh, buying uh, multiple books. So you just buy a single uh, device and you can read many books or novel uh, from that uh, ebook device. Uh, they name it as uh, Kindle. Okay, this is also a good development of, uh, I would say, uh, publication as far as ebook is concerned. It makes distribution much faster, easier, low cost, eh, without publishing a physical book or novel like this. Okay, those uh, uh, stresses the key role played by IT in order for strengthen new business model for a book publication. Okay. <clears throat> Basically, I would say that MIS, Management Information System, is derived from its core first role. They call it Transaction Processor System. Okay, uh, TPS, they call it Transaction Processing System, is basically the basic layer of MIS in which the transaction will take place. Okay, for example, if you go to a supermarket like uh, Tesco, uh, at nearby UTHM here. So uh, you take a product from the shelf and then later you bring to the sh uh, you uh, bring to the cashier counter and uh, later the cashier will scan the barcode for you, uh, check it out, the item, and then uh, determine the price, right? So then uh, you pay the, uh, you pay the uh, money and later you receive your goods or product and you left for home. So those are transaction processing system. Okay, it is uh, basically uh, performing or uh, recording a daily routine transaction like sales and purchase, payment and so on. Those are basically transaction. Uh, at that cashier, we call it. It is uh, at the station of POS point of sale. That is at the cashier in which she or he scans a barcode of your product before you can make the payment. So by uh, scanning the product. Uh, actually, the system will deduct the number of units you bought uh, from their uh, central inventory uh, status. Okay, say you buy three products, and then they uh, they will deduct the that uh, particular product minus three from their uh, inventory uh, volume. Okay, if uh, that is TPS, the basic layer of MIS in which it allows uh, for managers or supervisor to manage monitor the status and operation uh, of the inventory, for example, and as such, decision uh, to make uh, the next order if the inventory is low can be done very fast just by monitoring the system uh, to activate the next order of delivery. Okay, so uh, another uh, uh, information system function in the business, uh, for example, like this in, say, in Fujitsu, Okay, uh, so this is, uh, for example, a uh, human resource department. And one of human resource uh, department function is to manage your uh, salary, or they call it uh, in American term as payroll. Okay, payroll TPS, Transaction Processing System. Say this is at Fujitsu. Okay, every month, uh, Fujitsu employees will get their salary, or get paid uh, on the monthly basis. Uh, debited, uh, credited into the account, and later they uh, can withdraw the money from uh, the ATM uh, of the bank. Okay, so in this payroll system, uh, perhaps uh, we call it say HR uh, salary system. It has this database. Uh, inside the database, it records uh, all of the employee details. For example, name, uh, identification number, address. Uh, bank account number and uh, benefits uh, like uh, for example uh, bonus uh, or overtime all are kept inside the database so inside this database it has uh, many of the detail for example like here stated employee number name address pay rate gross pay uh, benefit in terms of medical uh, uh, net pay and uh, earnings. So all these are a typical example inside a payroll transaction processing system. So inside this a payroll system or salary system, uh, it can generate at the end of the week or at the end of the month, it can generate management reports. 
in terms of uh, whether it is on the dashboard or it can be printed out so that the manager can use the report uh, to bring and discuss uh, inside the monthly meeting with the CEO or with the managing director. So this payroll system also is connected to government agency, for example, to LHDN or Income Tax uh, Department of Malaysia. Right? So this payroll uh, system will record what is their basic salary and how much uh, do the employee receive every month and ultimately every year for, uh, for the yearly tax. Okay, this payroll system also uh, can generate a credit uh, payment to banks or issue a paycheck for a monthly salary, for example. And from this payroll also, if there is an inquiry uh, from the employee, uh, to the human resource department uh, pertaining employment record, pertaining uh, uh, record related to uh, perhaps medical benefit. So they can inquire uh, from this on, uh, on, on online query and the uh, HR uh, department uh, or staff will assess the payroll system to generate the reports or generate uh, like a uh, uh, special letter uh, to enable uh, them to be used at hospital or claiming insurance. So these are all based on this uh, TPS system. So this is very typical for uh, human resource department as far as its uh, IT system is concerned. <clears throat> okay, uh, the other type of uh, information that uh, normally uh, company use on top of uh, managing their salary for employees, they also can use it for business intelligence. Uh, they call it BI. Okay? BI is basically a specific software okay? uh, for, uh, for example like Hadoop or Microsoft uh, Power BI uh, to specifically utilizing the data inside the company like for example in Fujitsu or for example in uh, uh, KFC or for example in Air Asia Airlines, the use of this existing data internally in the company so that they can analyze a more specific uh, uh, result, uh, for example projection of sales for the next five years, right? So it will help managers to make uh, or to forecast for planning for future. For example, in the next uh, two years, uh, what could be the demand for a uh, customer from that Fujitsu keyboard? It, will it increase or will it decrease or will it maintain the same? So business intelligence will do forecasting or analyzing specifically on the existing data internally by using specific tools uh, like this or Hadoop and so on so that they can project normally uh, uh, predicting for the future like sales, production, purchasing and so on. Okay, uh, on top of that, we have also this business intelligence system, uh, basically a system which is dedicated to support managers as far as uh, making a smarter decision, or uh, for example, based on MIS, right? Uh, MIS is basically, its uh, basic function is to produce uh, reports for managers, produce direct routine report, for example, daily report, weekly report, or a monthly report, even yearly report. Okay. From this report, so uh, another system will help top management, for example, managing director or CEO, to have this uh, decision support system, normally used by middle managers uh, to decide, for example, what is the best delivery route for its uh, truck or lorry from Batu Pahat to KL and then later to Klang Port and so on. And another type of business intelligence system, they call it executive support system, mostly to support top management group, for example, for, for the MD, managing director or CEO, or even the chairman to decide what is the next stage investment uh, for the company so that they can borrow a loan from bank uh, and they want to decide on the next uh, three years investment. So normally they use ESS, executive support system, for those top management to decide for future investment. For example, uh, expanding the factory uh, into a bigger uh, industrial area uh, or set up a factory number two or set up factory number three and so on. So it uses a uh, EE, ESS system. Okay, uh, bottom line is uh, management information system, normally a routine system 
which is deriving or taking the data from TPS, Transaction Processing System, so that they can produce report for managers. Be it on the dashboard or you can print into the uh, art uh, with using a printer and later you refer those information uh, in the uh, management meeting or you distribute to your manager colleagues. So MIS basically serve the middle managers. For example, production manager, pro, uh, procurement manager, finance manager, human resource manager, right, uh, engineering manager, and so on. So it provides uh, current firm performance uh, reference. Right, this is derived from TPS, in which after catching the, the data from sales, uh, catching the data after payment, and so on. So this is basically a, a routine, uh, I would say, task. Uh, which is normally uh, captured under uh, MIS and in order uh, enable uh, to compile a report for managers. Normally, uh, management information system very uh, having less capability to do analytic. For example, analyzing for future projection. So it is merely a, a routine computer system. Okay, so how uh, to obtain uh, data from MIS uh, in order to execute their transaction processing system and how does it relate to each other. So if you uh, take a look here, this part on the left is a TPS, Transaction Processing System, in which you basically uh, uh, manage the order and later you resource the material. First, you have to capture the order and later you uh, have to order or get the materials and that material uh, later uh, also uh, being synchronized with the uh, costing system or general ledger system at accounting uh, department. So, and all these uh, will be put together inside the MIS database. That is based for sales, database for costing, database for record or engineering specification or product, uh, product change or re review or uh, some of the cost expenses kept in the database for accounting. All these databases are basically integrated at this uh, system, MIS, Management Information System, uh, central, data, uh, central System. And from here, only the report can be generated. Report for production, report for purchasing, report for shipment, and so on. And this report, uh, in certain particular format, uh, can uh, be shown on the dashboard or on the terminal, on the computer screen. And for managers to monitor, decide, refer, uh, in, uh, so that manager can make effective and efficient decision. So this is how MIS is working, serving for managers, and the data or raw data actually derived from TPS, which is the sales payment uh, stage. Okay, this is a typical example format from MIS. This is what the MIS system generate report. For example, this is a sales and product uh, report based on region. Uh, region means uh, like north, south, midwest, or west. Okay, and normally they, it has few columns like this: product code column, product description, uh, sales region, actual sales plan, and actual uh, uh, sales uh, uh, versus plan. Okay, for example, this product code. Okay, so this product code four four six nine actually for carpet cleaner. And this carpet cleaner is being sold in four regions. For example, Utara, Selatan, Tengah, Barat, right? For example, this uh, North, East, South, Midwest. And how much actual uh, actual sales uh, it is uh, being uh, accumulated? For example, this is uh, yearly actual sales, so 4 million plus for uh, carpet cleaner in the uh, North uh, East, right? Actually, they plan for 4.8 million, okay? And they manage to... Uh, uh, sell uh, 4 million. So the achievement is around 85%. Okay. So then uh, it will total up for all four regions. Uh, the achieved actual sales is 60 million against a plan 17.5 million and overall achievement for carpet cleaner product is 95% and so on. So MI is actually compiled this kind of report. Right, data which is derived from TPS, Transaction Processing System, which is normally at the counter there in which the cashier scan uh, by using the barcode scanner. So this is a sample of MIS report. 
Okay, that is on the MI system. The second system we are discussing is the, uh, sorry, the, the third uh, system, IT system we are discussing is uh, DSS because the first, uh, because the first is the, the first system we discuss is a TPS. The second system uh, we discuss is MIS, and the third system we are discussing now is DSS. What does uh, DSS mean? Again, DSS is a very specific software, uh, normally used by middle managers, for example, shipping manager or logistic manager or warehouse manager uh, to make decision uh, which is a bit slightly not routine. It is not everyday decision like uh, MIS in the production department. It is, uh, for example, like in shipping. Uh, in order to uh, bring product from Fujitsu Batu Pahat, uh, to Kuala Lumpur, uh, to Port Klang, or uh, from Batu Pahat, uh, Fujitsu, to Johor Bahru, and then uh, to uh, Singapore Port. So normally, it is decided by software. So they use this very specific DSS system, for example, the Voyage Estimating System. So it is, again, still data-driven. So it is based on the product, how many of them want to be sent, uh, what is the cost uh, sending them as far as shipping is concerned, where is the destination the, this product will go. So DSS uh, system will be normally used by this middle manager group. Okay, This is an example of uh, a DSS system. They call it estimating a, a voyage or estimating a route for a shipment to be taken. Okay, So uh, it uses um, also uh, many data. For example, database of uh, shipping, uh, speed, uh, capacity of the ship, uh, port distance uh, database, uh, fuel consumption and cost database, uh, chartering ship for transporter database, at which port database which is available they can uh, send it to and uh, then destination. So all these will merge into this uh, analytical uh, model database uh, which is uh, uh, software. Uh, and that route or destination from where it will be sent, like from Port Klang, Malaysia, uh, go to uh, Los Angeles uh, port in the United States. So it is, uh, it is uh, decided or supported by the software for manager to make decision on the shipping of their finished product. Okay, let's take a look at a simple uh, DSS system for shipping, uh, for shipping of finished good from uh, one point to another point uh, by a manager. ShipNet Voyage Estimator provides a powerful and intuitive toolset to help you make the right chartering decisions. Software, uh, software. In today's DSS, competitive markets, ShipNet. matching the right cargo with the right vessel is critical to running a profitable shipping company with many external factors determining the financial success or failure of each voyage. Charterers, shipbrokers and traders all need to be able to move quickly in a complex commercial environment. Making the right decisions is critical and having the right tools and facts to deal with fluctuating day rates, bunker prices and ever-changing geopolitical situations is essential. A voyage estimate gives you a clear picture of what the profit and loss of a voyage will be and gives you the confidence to fix voyages that make optimal use of your fleet. For the ship owners and operators, ShipNet Voyage Estimator marries proven voyage calculations with an intuitive uh, interface. From, uh, it also harnesses web-based services to to and gives you the right tools to cope with Ireland complex economic realities and, uh, and security challenges system, such as piracy uh, and conflict areas. A shipping company. At its heart, what is Voyage the Estimator provides the ability to, to easily compare the, estimates, uh, identifying the best alternative. Uh, vehicle. In the top of the screen, we have two configurable grids. One for open vessels, where we see the Juliet, currently open in Stockholm. And one for open cargoes. These grids are fully configurable 
and reflect the data held in your system. They can be refined to match your query in many ways. For example, you can see open cargoes and vessels in the future. But on this, we can see that a cargo of steel in Rostock, bound for Dublin, is the most attractive. A key factor in a voyage's profitability is bunker consumption. This is directly linked to the distance the vessel needs to steam. Shipnet Voyage Estimator does not rely on traditional here we are modifying the route to go seawards of the island of Gotland, while dynamically taking into account the revised distance. Voyage Estimator takes into account areas where there are environmental restrictions on what type of bunkers can be used. Here we see that the portion of the voyage that lies in the sulphur emission control area lasts until we exit the English Channel. This is reflected in the distance calculation where we see that 1,271 miles take place in the Seca zone with an impact on the overall cost of the voyage. One of the real financial picture. Here we are modeling a scenario showing how a subsequent voyage carrying scrap metal from Rotterdam to Izmit would impact on the profitability of the Rostock Dublin voyage for the Same Juliet. From, uh, By tagging the Dublin, estimates, you can see a consolidated view, complete route. rundown of terminal and berth restrictions in ports carrying coal from Durban in South Africa. Thus, if the voyage of the Sierra meets your criteria, easy and accurate, helping so you make the right decisions the for the right reasons the best to achieve the best results. In terms of, uh, cost and also distance. Okay, those are simulation system to estimate the best route for your finished good delivery from Stockholm to uh, Ireland, for example, right? This is one kind of DSS system or decision support system that normally used by shipping manager. Okay, another type of information system that uh, I'm discussing is uh, next is the ESS, executive support system. ESS are normally used by senior management uh, group. Senior management, I meant by managing director, uh, CEO, chief executive officer, CEO, chief operating officer, and GM, general manager. So it is a slightly uh, non-routine type of decision. For example, that require uh, investment uh, next year, either to set up new factory uh, uh, next to the current factory or uh, uh, not to set up a new factory. So in order to set up new factory, you need investment, uh, you need to uh, engage a financial loan from bank or uh, acquiring funding support from the headquarters. So you need this kind of uh, system in order to support for uh, making judgment, right? Uh, be, because the decision is uh, not routine. It is perhaps once a year decision or perhaps this is uh, 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 three years once uh, to make decision for investment. Okay, this is uh, in UTHM, uh, you can say ESS is uh, quite um, relevant because we, ha ha we have also uh, uh, ESS system under TCIs, they call it EIS, Executive Information System, in which normally Dean, uh, uh, Deputy, uh, Deputy Vice Chancellor or Chancellor, uh, uh, Vice Chancellor need to make decision uh, for the university. Okay, and uh, next is the enterprise application. But before I move on to enterprise application, uh, I think uh, I need to uh, stop here first, uh, take a break for 10 minutes because this lecture has been about uh, 30 minutes. We need to take a short break. Okay, so let's uh, take a break for 10 minutes. Then we continue uh, in the part two of this chapter two uh, management information system course. Okay, thank you. So, see you again.